We've got a lot of work to do as a council to figure out how we can spend the money. And some of that work begins tonight as the city of Champaign tries to decide how to spend $25 million. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. The American Rescue Plan will fill Champaign's reserves over the next two years. The city just got guidance today on how it can spend it. WCI 3's Jen Lask is live in our newsroom. So Jen, why is the money going into the reserves right now? Champaign's mayor tells me they haven't had time to review all of the requirements for the money yet. The city's budget is still down because of COVID-19, but Mayor Deb Finan says it's actually rebounding faster than expected because of budget cuts over the past year. She says the goal isn't to use the American Rescue Plan Act money as a way to backfill budget holes, but rather to invest in additional services. Tonight, the council will discuss how they want to see that money spent, but Finan says she's already got a wish list. Continuing to work on anti-violence measures, so either funding of existing programs, um, funding of programs like Lyft, which we are just getting off, you know, the ground and starting, um, and trying to make a difference there. She also wants to expand access to broadband, especially after this year showed how important it is to have access to it for kids and adults alike. Finan says they're trying to find out if some of the money can also go toward the Garden Hills drainage project. The city will be able to spend half the money this year and half next year. Champaign's overall budget approval could come next month. Back to you. All right, and we'll bring you that information tonight at 10. Thank you so much. Now, the Champaign Police Department is expecting to get around $215,000 in grants next year. They would cover police programs and equipment over time for DEA, ATF, traffic, and U.S. Marshals cases, and half the cost of buying bulletproof vests.